I hope we're in frame here. No one ever knows. First thing I guess we'll do is start up our shadows. get our coffee on the heat. I hope you can hear me from this far away. Today's coffee is going to be an experiment. It's a Starbucks blend. Toasted coconut mocha. Now, you all know I'm not a a fan of flavored coffee, but this just kind of intrigued me and it was on sale. And you know me, I can't pass up a sale. So we're going to try it. have a little steamage already. If you notice, I'm using my giant party pleaser coffee pot. Kind 
let you know why I haven't been doing too many videos. And uh, the reason is just pure laziness. I had a thousand ideas of things I want to do, and I just don't seem to be motivated to do any of them. So I thought, well, today, since I was out here, I'll uh, try to keep the Rat Pack boys on us and do a, maybe later do a uh, Cast Iron Wednesday on Monday. And I'll do a, maybe do a Fire It Up Friday later this afternoon on Monday. And then uh, Tuesday, Maybe I'll do a cast iron Wednesday. And uh, I like to mix my days up and, and keep these people honest. I'm not one, one, much one for a uh, regimented thing, so uh, we'll see what happens. But right now, I just want to get a cup of coffee and maybe some oatmeal. And I didn't bring a canteen cup, but I did happen to have this little cook kit in the back of the truck. So hopefully I can find something in here to make my hip pain. memory thing sorted out. Not. According to my precise calculations, with a ruler and a crayon, I think that would be the exact right amount of water. Timber Club, Tender Club, which me and Tommy are uh, proud members. I 
I uh, keep one stove was leaking fuel all over the place, and I took it apart. Did some did some modif some little uh, adjustments on it. It seems to be working pretty good. It's got really good control. So uh, kind of like this little stove. I have to either make or or find a case for it though. I, uh, it's one of the only ones that I have that I don't have a case for. So. As my buddy Robert says, you have to rotate that pot every so often if it's a little uneven so that the grounds get soaked all the way around. Makes sense. I have some work to do later at the camper. It's, uh, first really trip out, other than just little maintenance visits, but uh, it's time to uh, haul the water up. I get, uh, we don't have water on site, so, but I do have a, probably a 30 gallon tank in the camper, so I just take drums and I'll go down, come down here to the pavilion we have outside faucet to city water and stuff. And uh, up and down, fill that drum up and go up and pump it in and fill that up and that'll that'll last me a while up there. I don't usually I don't use it to cook or drink with in, but uh, it's nice for washing dishes and and stuff such like that. So it'll usually last a month or so. So I do have to haul some water up this afternoon. Another work day. And uh, I have stuff to do in the morning. So uh, I'm going to have to get home this evening. But possibly I'll come back out tomorrow afternoon. I want to haul my four-wheeler home and do a little maintenance on it, spark plugs, oil change, stuff like that before the summer starts. Uh, so I'll bring my trailer back out and haul it home. Uh, there's always something to do. There's always some sort of work to do out here. But it's not really work if you enjoy it. Give this a couple more minutes to park and then I'll bring you back. I think our coffee's about done. 